Hello, good afternoon. I am now here in the prayer room at General Council, which is on the ground level behind the plenary area. And I'm joined by Chris Polnigam, who is one of the people who has been offering leadership in the prayer room throughout General Council. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. So Chris, has, I understand this is the first time that there is a prayer room at General Council. Is that true? I think so. Uh, to our knowledge, there has not been one before. And so where did the idea come from to create a space for people to come and pray and be prayed for? Uh, well, I'm, I'm in General Council Office with Faith Formation, and then prayer is an integral part of Faith Formation. And uh, talking to others, I thought that if we could support our commissioners as they make decisions with prayer, how good would that be? And that kind of germinated the whole idea of having a prayer room. Um, what you see here is uh, the result of uh, th those ideas that came together with about five people okay. who, who gathered around it. And so those five of you have been taking turns, offering leadership and prayer in this space throughout the week? Well, we are the ones who kind of uh, initially got together before the event, okay. but then after that, there have been a number of people who joined and who have been consistently here praying with us mm -hmm. and being prayer partners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so in this space, each day you've added more posters, and they are titled with the different regions. And on each region's poster, there are the names of every pastoral charge in those regions. Right. right. So um, one of our goals was to pray for every pastoral charge, every congregation by name, and each of the names on those cards. And we just today completed praying for about 3,000 churches. Um, plus we prayed for every commissioner by name. We also prayed for every um, global partner by name. And then we've been getting prayer requests, uh, as you can see around the room, for people dying of cancer, who left their parents who are in the hospitals. Uh, so each day we get about 25, 35 prayer requests we've been praying for. It's been a tremendous experience. Sounds amazing. So I had a chance earlier on in the week to come in and just enjoy some quiet prayer time. And, and you and a few others prayed for me, prayed with me, and it was an incredible moment. I, I so appreciated it. Have, have you had many people coming in to just pray here and be prayed for? Oh, many have come. Uh, they have knelt on the kneelers. We have laid hands on them and prayed. And two specific for healing, one was healed. And so it's been a, a good experience for us, for those who have been prayed for. And from my understanding, it's been also a good experience for the commissioners, as I've heard that they had a trouble-free kind of general council 43, which is great, which we've been praying for that. Continuing to create an atmosphere and a community of prayer and support. Well, thank you to you, Chris, and to the many who have created this space and been here throughout the week to make sure that there is safe and sacred and prayerful space here at General Council 43. Thank you so much. Thank you.